Fiti mai te ora i te rangi e tū nei Fiti mai te ora i te moana tākato nei Fiti mai te ora o te whare e tū nei Pau te hihi rā, pau te rārama Ti aho i roto, mārama i roto Hui te ora, hui te mārama Haumie, hui e tāki e Well, we got in for a dip just next to Mamaku, Indian Island. Great to get in the water, Sean. It's absolutely beautiful down there. And this environment, this marine environment in Fjordland is really unique, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's a very special uh, environment. It's a bit different from other uh, environments we have around New Zealand where we have a lot of rain here. That rain will soak down through our forest and essentially the forest is like a massive tea bag. And as that tannin stained water comes out it rests on the surface of the beautiful ocean here and acts like a pair of sunglasses now that pair of sunglasses blocks out a lot of light okay and what that does it allows deep sea creatures that are affected by light to live nice and shallow so it's called deep water emergence so we can go for a snorkel like we've just been here before and you'll see deep sea creatures that normally you'd have to use a submarine or ROVs to go down to find them. So very unique. Yes, brilliant, brilliant to go and see. And you know, when you're down there and you're in amongst those kelp forests, and of course you've got your forests up here on the Fenua, you really feel like there's this connection between the land and sea, even though they're separated, sort of. There, there is a real connection, isn't there? Massive connection, yeah. So, um, as I say, you know, there's, there's so many different trees up in here, and much the same as in the sea there. We've got so many different seaweeds through there, and they rely on each other. So nutrition does come out of, of the forest there, or even trees just falling down into the sea. Seal. <laughs> G'day, mate. Did you have a yarn? <laughs> That's what you get every autumn. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> One of the locals. Yeah. So let's talk about, say, a tree falls out of the forest, a landslide happens, that falls down into the ocean, everything will feed on it. That's part of the same cycle. Everything's interconnected. You know, we've always sat here and thought, there's the land, here's the ocean, but they are actually joined together in many a different way. And the health of one another, you know, the health of the land is going to impact the health of the sea. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Well, one needs the other. Yeah. yeah. So we need to look after both of them. Great. Hey, thanks, Sean. I um, don't know where everyone's gone. They're obviously really enjoying themselves, but yeah, so, so good. Get into the water, see what it's about, make those connections.